And hello again everyone and welcome back to Siberia. Now if you remember where we last left off, our intrepid heroine Kate Walker has just finished assembling the automaton Oscar who has headed off to the train because Oscar was built to be an engineer. The train driving kind, not the solved mechanical problems kind. And it looks like Oscar at least might know where Hans Vorlberg is, so we need to go find Oscar and see if he can get us in that direction. So, I guess the first thing we need to do is find this train he went off to. The train is, of course, in the one area we haven't been yet on the Vorlberg estate, and that is up this way. Yep, that looks like a train station. You can run, Kate. It's okay. I like how she has to come to a complete stop just before she can climb up the stairs. Okay. Yep, it's the Valadolin station. All right. Now, how often does this train station get used? Is this obviously isn't the station that, or how Kate got here? because she, this was inside the Vorlberg estate, she would have had to have opened the gate, so are there two train stations here? How does this work? Oh, who knows. Need to get on board the train here. Slate's whistling. You hear that? Oh, there's Oscar. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. All right, the main thing we need to do is we need to find Hans. I can't wait to meet Hans Varlberg. What about you? I would find the experience inordinately gratifying. And I won't forget to congratulate him on the success of his incredible automaton. Why, thank you, Kate Walker. Okay, well that obviously wasn't useful. Let's just go to the mission, as usual. I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? The rules clearly state, Kate Walker. Every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. Okay. I don't know what that is on the back of her head. Is that? I think it's just something clipping through her, the model of her jacket. But oh look, somebody's in this ticket booth now. Oh, it's Oscar but again. It's you. What can I do for you, madam? But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. Yeah, you gotta wonder who's doing the um, programming for this guy. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why, do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel, then. A 
under the jacket. Yep. Okay. We have a ticket. And we have to get something notarized. Okay, fine. This is obviously the train. So, but yeah. There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. Yeah. Um, have they deliberately programmed this thing to be this annoying? I mean, and man, he moved fast. All right. What we have to do now is we have a ticket, but we have to get that other piece of paper notarized. Fortunately, we know where a notary is. Okay, you can go faster than that. Or maybe not. Okay. Again, the environments do look wonderful in this game. I mean, I know it's all hand-drawn and not rendered, but probably render something that good now. I think it's also interesting you, continue, you can continue to hear the water field and everything operating in the background, even though we're no longer doing that. All of this game does need a fast travel option. So you can even see the water wheel moving back there in this scene now. Because it forces us to go through the whole village again just to get to the um, notary's office. And it's a good thing we left the door open, isn't it? Stop and go up the steps. All right, we need to go over here. There's no, the notary is asleep. Remember he said he had to rest. So we're gonna have to do things for him. This is our, where his approval thing is. Now what we have to do first is there's no ink in it right now. We have to open that top. Now remember we picked up some ink in the attic of uh, the Vorlberg's house. We can refill this with ink. Alright. Then we have to get the train release permit here. And put it here. Then we can notarize it. I guess that's approved. Yep. That looks good. And we're done in But don't think for a long shot it's, we're quite ready to leave yet. And I guess that baker is just going to stand out in front of his um, shop. So he's smoking all day and he has the day off. All right, here's the thing. If there's anything else you wanted to do in this town, you need to do it now, because when we leave, we're never coming back. Now, fortunately, somebody brings your luggage onto the train for you, so Kate's got her luggage. What's that clock? It looks like it's what? Four in the afternoon. Oh. Okay. Again, you spend a lot of time just walking through scenes.
It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. All right, so we can't just talk to him about Don't it. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar. But I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. Yeah, we have to um, select it from our inventory, our ticket, and then give it to Oscar. We can't talk to him about it. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. Why don't you want to take my ticket? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can be a real stickler for the rules, Oscar, my old fellow. Yeah. Okay. So even though he said he needed a ticket, what he really needs is the train release. Here. This is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. Yeah, Kate, I understand your frustration there, too. Trust me. All right, now we can give him the ticket. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. Now, is anyone slightly amused by the fact that Kate is a lawyer and Oscar is basically rules lawyering her here? I mean, she's kind of getting her own... Yeah. Now, it's not clear from what Oscar said, but what we have to do is we have to go into this room, which looks like a little display room of some kind. There's a bedroom back here. We don't have to worry about it. Now notice we have some shelves. We have this pedestal, and we have this pedestal. We have to put certain things in all three of these places. So I'm going to start back here. And what this is, you see this is a cabinet with more pedestals on it. We have to take these cylinders that we've been finding and put them here. Then this, remember the little music box, the Hans Anna mechanical toy? It goes here. go inside see it's now in place and this functions as a music box we can take those cylinders and put them in here and they'll operate and finally we have to take the mammoth doll and put it here and I think it's strange that Hans never got his hands on that mammoth doll although he knew it was there he designed this train and he designed Oscar and he designed it in such a way that the train couldn't leave unless the mammoth doll was there. Right. Uh, the game's a little annoying here because it doesn't actually tell you, oh, these are the things you're missing. You just have to kind of figure that out. But, okay. And Oscar is there, yes. It's too easy to hide targets. It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. And again, I don't didn't mean to do that. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar. But I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. Yeah, that was me. I needed to give him the ticket again. There you are, Oscar. 
Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why you're still refusing to take this ticket. Everything is in order, and an engineer prides himself. On punctuality. Yes, Oscar, I remember. But what now? But what's up, Oscar? Why haven't you returned to your engine room? If I may be so bold as to express a personal opinion on this matter, Kate Walker? <sighs> I'm all ears, Oscar. I fear we have omitted to wind up the locomotive springs. Is that all? Then let's do it for Christ's sake. I'm afraid I have no notion of how to implement this function, Kate Walker. It would seem that the makeshift completion of my production process is responsible for a lack of instruction on this matter. Okay, right. I'll see to that myself then. I mean, a wind-up train can't be that complicated. You, wait there. I won't be long. Thank you, Kate Walker. Yeah, could this be getting much more annoying or what? Um, okay, we have to go wind up the train now. Because no matter how complex it is, it's still another clockwork automaton. There is definitely somebody whistling. Actually, I think up this way there's a guy pushing a broom around, but you can't talk to him. He's just sort of there and being very cheerful about the fact that he's there. Alright, what we have to do here is this is the train and this is the machine that winds it up. We have to pull this lever, and then we have to turn this crank. Okay. Oh look, the train is now wound up. Guy is really happy over there this one, isn't he? Oh look, it's a phone call. Kate, it's me again. Dan, I was gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lorman. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought, and you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean... It isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. I promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Yeah. Is it just me or is Dan kind of uh, not understanding his fiance's work here? But, yeah. But Kate seems to be more interested in what she's doing now than in him, so... We'll see. All right. Now we've wound the train up. Let's see if Oscar will give us what we need now. Oh, look. It worked. We right. must be ready Everything to go. Everything is in order, then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. 
Please, return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. Okay, and at this point we're about to go into a long cutscene that ends chapter one. So I'm just going to let it run for now. This is kind of a shorter than normal episode, but hey, that's just the way the breakpoints went. So, until next time, this is Dennis, this is Can't Stop the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time as we stop at the university town of Farkstock on our way to Siberia. I will see you then.